Welcome to Winophobia.com. I am Pat. To my right is my good buddy Jeff. Hey everybody. And to our left is Dirk. Dirk is a strong silent type. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, so Winophobia.com, it's all about demystifying the wine world and uh, making everything related to wine more approachable to you. So today, what are we going to be doing, Pat? We are going to open a bottle of wine. I think it's probably one of the first most important steps of consuming wine is actually opening the bottle. Pretty much. You, uh, you can't enjoy it if you don't, you don't get it popped open. I guess buying it would be the first one, right? Technically, unless someone gives it to you or delivers it to your home. True. So you've got that bottle of wine and you want to enjoy it, but the last time you opened it, you cracked the cork in half and you had to use a, a mm. coffee filter to, to strain it out. That's not Has a anyone ever been there before? Yeah, done that. Okay, done that. Done that. So today we have a beautiful bottle of Chimney Rock Cabernet. It's from Napa Valley and it's a 2006. Definitely one of my favorite wines. Very good bottle. Uh, been there, tasted it at the winery. Love it. And Jeff, you've got a couple of different bottle openers that you I can do. Choose from, right? Thought maybe we could go over a few of these just to kind of show you. This is a typical bottle opener that you'll find in a lot of homes. This gets open uh, beer and soda bottles. Not gonna, not gonna do much for you no, here. So just, I don't even know why this is out. It's, it's probably a mistake. Sorry about that, everybody. But legitimately, there are several types. Um, there's, we don't have one of the main ones with us right now, but it's that, that kind that you just twist down and you, you do the arms. Okay, we don't even want to go into that thing because that thing's terrible. Pat, what is this one called? You seem to know a lot about this This one. is a, a waiter's key. This is the kind you'll find in a restaurant that the waiter brings to the table. Or, I know I've got five or six of these in a drawer at home. This is what we mainly <laughs> use. But there's two other kinds. So there are. So, it um, doesn't matter the brand name, but this is called a screw pull. So, basically, you just do this lever action. It very easily pops the cork out of there. So, it's a nice way to do that. You don't have to spend a lot of money to do it, but this is a nice way. And then someone bought this one for me. It literally has a CO2 cartridge in the top. You just stick it down um, over the wine cork and it pierces it. You press the button and pull up and the wine cork comes out. It's pretty neat. So we'll demonstrate that for you some other time. But just wanted to share the other styles that you can use if you want to. So My, training, my training is all in the use of the, the waiter's key. Um, I was actually a, a junior Olympian with this tool. You didn't know that, did you? I didn't know that. Yes. Now before you can get the cork out, what do we have to do, Pat? What's, what's the key? What's covering the top of this bottle right now? A uh, piece of foil. And that foil has to come off to basically show the cork. That's how we get to it. So we start by popping that foil off. Now on this waiter's key, it has a little knife. On the, there's a little tool that Jeff has in front of him there. Yeah, with the scruple set, there's just a little foil cutter. And it's very nice. You just put it over the top, spin it around a few times, and it, and it takes off the, the foil for you. So you don't have to have that. It's a nice way to do it. No. So step two, take out the corkscrew. Now you'll notice the corkscrew is pointing at an angle. So the biggest mistake people make is they try to put it in like they envision the screw, the cork going in. The screw going into the cork is straight down. But actually if you do that, then the corkscrew goes off to the side and that's how you end up getting those fragments of cork into your bottle of wine. And you don't want that, do you, Dirk? So that's the worst thing they can do. They don't taste good. So start off with the point of the corkscrew going into at a perpendicular angle, perpendicular 90 degrees. 90 degrees. 90. That's my And then spin training. the bottle gently until it sets. Now once you get in, I think, to that first little piece of the screw, now you can take the actual tool and screw it down in the middle. And take it all the way down. Take it down until you get to the point of the top of the screw. Put the lever onto the edge of the bottle. Use your thumb to block it. And then just pull it straight out. Awesome. And, and some people argue about disturbing the wine by popping that cork and you know is that what we're going to do Jeff or what do you I do? love the sound of the cork popping to me that's the start of good time so uh, let me hear it there you oh. go ready to roll and now I've, I've been in a restaurant before where they come over and they hand you oh. the cork this and the, the snooty waiter is standing there you're you know staring at you and you're waiting and, and you're not sure what to do so Jeff what do you do with that cork when they well you could give it a terrifying look and just stare at it but that doesn't do a whole lot. You could just pick it up and act like you knew what you were doing and, and that would probably suffice. While you're acting like you know what you're doing, because very few people probably know really what to do with this, you could just give it a quick look over, check for the integrity of cork, make sure that it's not crumbling or that the wine has not run all the way up to the top. If that's the case, there's probably um, been some leakage and there's now oxygen in your wine bottle. And instead of that being a delicious Cabernet, it's probably a delicious vinegar. So um, just give it a quick check and then set it back down or keep it, take it home with you. Great. 
And we always pour ladies first, right? Ladies first. <laughs> Dirk, do you like the, the chimney rock? Yeah? Good. Dirk likes it. I think I got more than you guys. I'm sorry about that. Ooh, that's going to be a problem. Mm. Excellent wine. Let me give it a taster. I love it. Absolutely love it. Guys, okay. cheers. Cheers. Everyone, remember, we're winophobia.com, and we have the cure. Thank you. Cheers.